Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. I want to start by telling you how honored I am that you stopped by for these visits. I strive to be as motivating to you as your visits are to me. As the news of the shelter in place begins to settle on me, I determine that my mental health is equally as important as my physical health and it will require my attention. As we speak, I'm in my third week of lockdown away from my grandchildren. This is very difficult for me. In this video, you will see me with my little guy. I care for him during the day while my daughter and son-in-law work. However, recently, dad was furloughed and is now caring for the little guy at home. So I'm deeply missing my days with him. In today's video, I'm going to reset the main living areas of the home. Things have really gotten out of control over the last couple of weeks. I need to reorganize the toys, I need to dust, do the floors, basically all the things. Since we are staying home, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the outdoor areas so that we can enjoy these spaces also. I have a gated courtyard in the front that I need to get swept out, and I have a large patio in the back that I need to prepare so that we can begin barbecuing out there. Since we're going to be grilling more, I'm going to share with you a potato salad recipe that we like to keep in the refrigerator. I love that the iron grates on my new range flip up like this. It makes it convenient when it comes to cleaning. I went ahead and sprayed it down with Methods degreaser. I'll let it sit while I work on these dishes. But somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy Now I bet I'm losing fun of me I was looking for a remedy Now I bet I'm losing fun of me yeah. Push it back, hold you close Start a fire, there you go I get a stable, I get a stable In my bed all alone Never know few dishes that I prefer to hand wash. For instance, these knives. I hand wash them and immediately dry them. Okay, the degreaser has had plenty of time to work its magic. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything down. As I'm drying off these knobs, I notice a little bubble in the finish. 
Oh, I guess I'm going to have to get online and try to find a replacement. I'm currently trying to use up all the cleaners that I have underneath my cabinet. I recently purchased all the Jaws cleaners and I can't wait to use them. But first I would like to use up what I have. Recently my youngest daughter bought me these bowls and plates and silverware for the grandkids. In just a second you'll see their drawer that I need to organize. About to get a quick glimpse into my pantry. Last Saturday, I uploaded a video where I deep clean and organize this area. I'll post the link in the description box so you can head over there and see the dramatic results. recently started using e-cloth on my stainless steel and I'm really noticing a difference in the shine. In the past I used the sprays but it left an oily film on the appliance and on my floors. With this cloth I just use water. I'm spraying my granite with a Methods Granite Cleaner. This leaves a perfect shine on my counters.
now that we've finished our lunch, I'm going to go ahead and complete this area by dusting and vacuuming. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head, wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had, how could we get this bad? Where did we lose our Sweet boy, I miss him so much. Let's take a quick glimpse in the living area, see what all we have to get done in here. Once I get everything picked up, I'll go ahead and start dusting the area. In my normal life, and as we know, things are not normal right now, I usually follow a zone cleaning schedule. I'm looking to get back to that to try to bring some normalcy back into this situation. But for right now, we'll speed clean through this area. Now I'm going to start working on the back patio. I love these huge sliders. When they're opened up, it feels like an extension of our home. I'm going to go ahead and blow off the patio and the furniture, and then I'll come out and wipe everything down. I did videotape me cleaning the sliders, but somehow I lost the footage.
Now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick clean of this foyer area. It has become a hot spot zone. Everything gets laid down here. I still have the Valentine's candy out and those flowers were given to me by my husband. I've been selling things on Marketplace so I've been stacking it over here to the right. I'm going to go ahead and just dust everything off and get it tidied back up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and work in the courtyard. We live in a new construction area, so this courtyard gets pretty dusty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and blow everything off and then wipe down the furniture. I typically have to do this once or twice a week so that we can enjoy this area. I just filmed a video where I added flowers and plants. Be on the lookout for it on Thursday. You might be wondering where this extra door goes to. I built this home because it's a generational suite home. In that door is an extra apartment that is built onto our house. Currently, we have my mother-in-law living in there. Okay, now we're going to get to my favorite part. I love mopping, I guess because it's an end to all the hard day's work. I use Mop and Glow because I like the way it makes my floors shine. I also really like this O Cedar Mop.
If you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the mom to three moms and a son. I started this channel to be an encouragement to young mothers. I have been a very young mom. I've been a homeschool mom. I was a single mom, a bonus mom, and now I'm a blessed grandma. In short, I can relate to most chapters in women's lives. My goal is to reclaim my peace through cleaning, organizing, and setting up schedules and making self-care important. I hope that I can be an encouragement to you. If you enjoyed this video, would you please give me a thumbs up? And if you like cleaning, organizing, and decorating videos, please subscribe. I would also love to get to know you. Would you drop me a comment about where you are in your stage of momming? Pretentious life, no, 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 don't need no pills to get high. There's no doubt in my mind, your love is all that I need. Okay, let's get to making this potato salad. I use buttermilk, I use some sort of a pickle, like a dill pickle, mayonnaise, eggs, boiled eggs, potatoes, red onion, and celery. I'm going to go ahead and start this pot and get it boiling. I add in a generous amount of salt. I'm going to clean the potatoes. I use about six or seven potatoes. the whole potato, skin and all, into the boiling water. I let it continue to cook until it's soft. While they're cooking, I'll go ahead and work on the dressing part. I'm going to start by chopping up the celery. I'll then run back through them and dice them up. I'll do the same thing with a half an onion, a handful of pickles, and four boiled eggs. To a large bowl, I add about a half a cup of buttermilk. Now you might need more in the end if your potato salad needs to be loosened up. Then I add in about three, maybe four large tablespoons of mayo. Then I'll begin putting in the celery, the pickles, the red onion, and the eggs.
At this point, I add a splash of pickle juice. This really gives it a lot of flavor. It isn't hard to tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only Once the potatoes are cooked, I rinse them in cool water and begin to peel off the skins. This is fairly easy to do at this point. And then I'll run my knife through them and chop them up into bite-sized pieces. I want to thank you for visiting me today. Please remember to support my channel by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. I hope that you have a blessed day. Bye my friends.